We truly believe that in the future, robots and drones will build entire cities and neighborhoods. You know, there's a thing going on that people variously call the global housing crisis, and it feels to me like we're going to have to do things different. Austin-based startup Icon is partnering with Lennar to build a community of 100 3D printed homes, the largest neighborhood of its kind in the world. The project will test how the technology can be scaled. We've developed a mobile portable 3D printing system. So the way things like it's a house factory that comes to you. So we ship the printer to site, it prints the house and then is on to the next site or job. Icon's Vulcan robot is capable of 3D printing concrete walls layer by layer to form the first floor of a home. Conventionally, this process, when you think of framers, drywall, siding, insulation, this is a process that can take three to eight plus weeks uh, that we're able to condense into a single week and often deliver a better product in the process. According to Icon, the printer only takes four technicians to operate and the process costs about 20 to 30 percent less than traditional construction. Homes in the Austin community started at $450,000 and ranged from 900 to 2,000 square feet. The wall system, which is what we 3D print, um, is the most laborious, trade-intensive, expensive, and time-consuming part of the, the entire construction process. And so when you can replace multiple trades and multiple material supply chains with a single automation, that's very powerful. But a home is more than just walls. You're 3D printing walls, but you have to finish out the home. You need utilities, you need, uh, you need to put a roof on your 3D printed walls. Eventually, may, we may get to 3D printing more components, but right now we're just 3D printing the structure. Belinda Carr is a construction expert who makes YouTube videos on building science. To get people excited about a new technology, people try to put it in a box. It gets investors excited. It gets the general public excited. So if you claim that, hey, 3D printing gets solve homelessness, or it can stop climate change and help the environment, or it can make housing affordable, these are genuine problems that people are facing. But we don't know if that's going to, if it's going to solve those problems because it isn't right now. Still, what she's seen to the icon community is promising. The, the icon houses that I visited in Austin, that was a beautiful merging of the tech field and the engineers and the construction field. The people who have the skilled labor who are involved in, in on construction job sites, they have been aging out of the workforce and retiring, and there aren't enough young people to take their place. There's this appeal to 3D printing where you're on the software side or you're an operator, you're not actually building the walls yourself, you're not pouring the concrete. So what will it take for 3D printed homes to become more mainstream? Right now, the, the printers and the mixes are still proprietary, but I think 3D printing can be a good competitor. We need more options. This is still new, very novel technology, a little over three years old. And so just, just like any early stage technology, early cars, there's still a lot of figuring out how to get them to work and run for a long, long time. And I think it, it makes me hopeful about the future.